Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over Compass. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding Compass to the project that we created in the SAS tutorial series thus far, and then we're going to be importing Compass and showing you how to watch the, uh, the directory just like in SAS. So to get started, now that we already have Compass installed, you just want to open up your terminal and you want to uh, direct yourself to your folder that your project is already saved in. So we're going to get ourselves there. You see here's all the files. So what we're going to do is we're going to do compass install compass. Just like that. And as you can see, it's created some things. It's created two directories, a SAS and a style sheets directory, um, as well as a screen print and IE uh, a CSS file and a print screen and IE CSS file. So if we go to our file directory, and here they are, um, right now it's telling you uh, to import new style sheets with the following lines of HTML. Um, these are just these are just paths to those files that it's created for you. So we'll just go ahead and do that. We're going to put in our HTML document right up here. Okay, uh, we're not you know we're not going to be even using them for this tutorials here, but we might as well just do it. Um, sort of get used to what the workflow is sort of like. Also, um, we're going to take our style.css file that's here, and we're going to put this in the same folder. So this is going to be in style sheets. So let's save that. And in here in Finder, let's just grab these things out of here. We'll take uh, our two SCSS files and put them in the SAS folder. And then we're going to take our two CSS fold files and put them into our style sheets folder. That way when SAS compiles, it, it will um, it will find those two files correctly and then compile them into your style sheets folder so that your HTML document can then read them. So just like in SAS, when we told it to watch a file and look for it, what you're going to do for a compass is you actually tell it to watch your whole project. So we're going to back out one directory here. We're just going to cd dot dot and use my desktop. So if we do compass watch and then the folder that our project is, the folder I have it saved in is called sass. So compass watch sass. All right, it's going to give you some uh, it's going to give you some sort of things like before Compass is watching, check for changes. Um, but it also is giving me some error messages, um, style.scss, invalid CSS. Oh, okay. So um, the problem here is that it's sort of getting confused about me using Compass syntax within SAS uh, when I made these mix-ins. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of this border radius delete that and we'll actually go ahead and delete this paragraph too. Let's see if I save this out. Okay, yeah, this include border radius. Oops. Okay, it also doesn't like line 26, include border radius. Okay. Okay, so now no errors this time. We've successfully overwritten our files, but now if we refresh our index, as you can see, some of the things like the border radius, um, that stuff's gone away. So to use Compass, at the top of your document, you just want to do an at import, and then in quotes, Compass, and then a semicolon, and then we hit save, terminal, says we're all good, we have imported Compass. So that is how you add a Compass to your project that you've already created. In the next tutorial, we're gonna show you how to use some of Compass's awesome CSS3 built-in mixins. So as always, if you have any questions, you know, please leave a comment on the video, uh, hit us up at Twitter at LevelUpTuts, or just let us know what you think. Once again, this is Scott with the Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.